What happened? Not sure. Motive's unclear. It wasn't a robbery. She still had her purse. Huh. Rape? Probably not a good idea. Someone might see us. You know? Wow. This city's going to hell. If I want to make the world a better place for people in wheelchairs, I'm going to have to get a strategy. I need to make the world a better place for people in wheelchairs, like my good friend Armando Aruga Vega. Do I, as a citizen, have the right to demand these changes? Of course you do. How do I go about doing it? Well, you've got to go to City Hall, and you've got to ask for them. I already did that. I already went to City Hall. I walked in, and I said, hey, we need some fucking changes, because this city's gone to hell. Well, let's stop you there. The language might be an issue. No, I said exactly what we needed. But the delivery, the way you said that, is the problem. Are people afraid of passion? Um, they might be afraid of you. Why? Look at you. I do all the time. Would it kill you to dress up a bit? Would it kill you to put on a suit? Have you tried that? Have you thought of that? I haven't thought of it, but I would now. Yeah. You're fucking right, I would. Yeah, got to lose the, uh, the F-bombs there. That's going to be a tough one. I'm going to be yeah. honest with you. Why don't politicians swear? Why? Because they're afraid to swear because people won't like them. Just occasionally in a speech, thank you very much. I enjoyed fielding your fucking questions. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Well, I probably wouldn't uh, go that direction myself. So no swearing. Can you do that? Can you? Yeah. You're fucking right again, yeah. I just did it again, didn't I? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's hardwired into my fucking brain. Friggin' brain. What about my face? Do I have a politician's face? Look, personally, I like the 1970s beard, but uh, this is 2004. Uh, no, it's even farther than that. We're in the late 2000s, let's say. OK. Maybe you want to update your image a little bit. What? You can uh, have the, the little uh, goatee. goatee look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to look like an idiot. Or you can just shave. Yeah, well, I'm keeping the beard. OK. All right? What about my smile? I mean, is there a political smile? Um, yeah, political smiles are often really fake, and you don't want to have one of those. Okay, teach me to smile. How should I smile? Well, let's see you smile first off. That's not bad. You look a bit phony. I look phony? Okay. Yeah, you don't look like you're really happy. You're not even smiling there. Oh. You, now you look crazy. Ah, it's just so... David. Is this a good smile? Well, first of all, why are your eyes closed? I don't know. There, there, you're getting better now. That's a nice smile, Thank see? you, thank you. Yeah. And what about my voice, my tone of voice? Uh, not so loud. Not loud, well, OK. Yeah, but not so quiet that you're a close talker. And so they're... just pleasant. Yeah. Like this. That's very pleasant. Big smile. Big smile. Hello, David. Hello. Did you hear the joke about the dog eating the vagina? Yeah. People don't all have the same sense of humor as you do. Wow, they should. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are there do's and don'ts I should keep in mind when shaking someone's hand? Well, you don't want to uh, offer the uh, limp fish. Like, that's nice. What's well, wrong with a nice couple for of... You. Don't... Hello, sir. Nice yeah. to see you. Yes. I liked your political awareness speech. What's wrong with that? Um, it's just wrong. OK. Well, what should I do? Well, you want to have a, uh, a firm handshake and look the other person in the eye. So I know how to shake hands. Kissing babies. Yeah. Is there a delicate way? I mean, I'm assuming because it's a baby, just a gentle kiss on the cheek or yeah. a kiss on the forehead? I'd avoid the lips. OK. That would just be wrong. So just a kiss on the forehead? Yeah. It's a, a delicate kiss. Very gentle, yeah. Yeah. David, why is the public comforted by a family man politician? Well, I think it comforts people to think that if someone else loves the politician, then they might be OK to deal with. So I need to get a political family so that the public will think that my idea is good. Well, I, I would. Thanks, David. I've got an image to work on. A good family. I've never been part of one of those. But I wasn't about to go out and change the world without one.
Congratulations. You've been hired as my fake family. There's something missing, though. Oh, I know. Perfect. I'm finally gonna make you proud, Gramps. I'm finally gonna make a difference. Hey! Get out of here! You do not graffiti a public building in my city! I don't care if you think I'm a fox or not! Lose the can and the attitude.